my family needs a roof over our heads and we can't afford the current rental prices. We haven't won the lottery yet to buy a house. We're trying. Julie Rock, a mother of five, released that emotional video on Monday, talking about her cancer journey, how she had to shut down her photography studio and how she is now losing her home. Yeah, literally a week after COVID shut everything down, my doctor called me telling me that I'd been diagnosed with breast cancer. Julie underwent surgery, then treatment and seemed to be in remission. But in August 2022, as they were preparing for a vacation, she found out the cancer had reached her brain. And that was really devastating to tell our kids that after, you know, waiting for a couple of years to be able to go on a family trip, <laughs> that we couldn't go and that I, instead I had to go for brain surgery. This summer she learned the cancer had progressed to her liver. The news forcing her to shut down her photography studio and quit her two part-time jobs. The same week, her household received another setback. My landlord's called. And we've been here in this house for nine years, almost ten years. Nine years. And, and they've been wonderful. Obviously, we're paying an affordable rent for a house. Um, but they said that they needed to sell. Julie says her family has until the end of the year to find a place. But the search hasn't been easy. Their rental budget is $2,000, well below the average $2,700 it costs to even rent a two-bedroom apartment in Ontario. Too small for the two parents and three kids currently living at home. We've applied for low-income housing, housing support, like we've done all those things. I'm not eligible for anything support-wise. I've been denied from ODSP because of my husband being on long-term disability. The director of Milton's Transitional Housing says Julie's story represents that of many Ontarians struggling to make ends meet. I can tell you that I receive four, five, six, seven calls a day of people in very similar situations to Julie. Situations where they are looking for housing, they're not able to afford housing. I, when you think about it, all of us are probably one or two paychecks away from experiencing a housing crisis. In Halton, we have a combination of a very low vacancy rate of less than 1%. That means fewer than one in 100 uh, uh, vacancies are available to be rent. So that's not going to lead to affordability. Julie says she hopes to stay in the area near her health care team and her children's school. It's really, really hard to focus on going through treatment and not knowing where your family is going to live. For City News, I'm Stella Quisto.